Welcome to Dragon Horde Gaming, and today we'll be opening up our second mystery booster box. There we go. I really enjoyed opening that last one, that was a lot of fun. Alright, this here. Hopefully, these packs will be a little easier to open than the last ones, but I don't expect too much from this. Alright. Okay, let's set those there. That's uh, just going to be normal opening the packs. Alright. Okay. Gift of Estates. Circling Fisher. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading these. Martyr's Cause. Sacrifice a creature, prevent all damage to a creature or player from one source. Hmm. Saren Dib Ifrit. Um. Okay. Boundless Realms. Cost seven. It's a rare from M13. Uh, search your library for up to X basic land cards where X is the number of lands you control and put them into the battlefield tap then shuffle your library uh, I guess that's okay well, the prices on all these cards have greatly diminished so I think that's the first time I've ever seen boundless realms Crib swap. Yeah. Chromatic star, nice. Corsair crew fix. Spell tithe enforcer for our rare. Uh, whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player sacrifices a permanent unless he or she pays one. Okay. What we're looking for... Like demonic tutors in the black and common spot. Um, I think. Ooh, this is pretty strange. Okay. Tectonic edge. Uh, Ana sanctuary. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a blue or black permanent target creature, gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Control a blue permanent and a black permanent. That creature gets plus five, plus five in the turn instead. Okay. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Big money card here. Expor. I am going to mess this up. Exporporate. Exporporate. Uh, cost nine. Seven generic, two blue. Cancels dilemma. Starting with you. Each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, take an extra turn after this one. For each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it. Exile, expropriate. And Sundial of the Infinite. Ooh. Pay one, tap, end the turn. Activate this ability only during your turn. Uh, exile spells and abilities on the stack. Discard down to your maximum hand size. Damage wears off in this turn and until end of turn. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that would work, but yeah. it might be a good card to use in my 
Ar Urza artifacts commander deck. These over here. The pile is starting to tip over. Ooh, ancient ziggurat. Animar soul of elements. Protection from white and from black. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put one counter of Animar soul of elements. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast for each one one counter on Animar. And Forma Dragon is our foil. So, yeah. Really, I'll be only reading the cards that I'm pretty sure are worth something. So, I can get this video done without having to do part two. For a second, I thought I only had one there. The blue. Mm, Chatter squirrel. The squirrel. Ooh, there's a five dollar card. Deep blue skate. Aurelius Fury. I got that foil already in the last one. Okay. Ooh, Sphinx's tutelage. That's a valuable uncommon there. I, at least it was. Could have sworn Destructor Dragon used to be rare, but eh, it's an uncommon. Uh, Pillows of the Sleepless. Pillory of the Sleepless. Okay. Was that? Yeah, that was the multicolor. Frontier Bivouac for our land. Questing Feldegriff. Sudden Demise. Okay, and Maelstrom Nexus, nice. This one's worth something. It's a uh, one of each color. The first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. Oh, cool. All right. All right, we have Bond of Fate. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. I'm reading them again. Gotta just go with... That's a neat frog. Energy field. All right. Uh, Star of Extinction and well, I think I saw the professor open a pack like this. We got a Karthus Tyrant of Jund, cost seven for generic, a black, red, and green. Flying haste when Karthus comes into play, gain control of all dragons, then untap all dragons. Other dragon sh creatures you control have haste. That is a really good one there. All right. Let's keep this rolling.
Insignet. Enchanted Ever Evening. Okay. A Duretti. And a Yorteller Nifflum. That's probably the my least favorite of what looked like it might have been a good card, but wasn't of the foils. Oh, crop rotation. Uh, I was hoping to get one of these for uh, a, uh, a uh, Oathbreaker deck with uh, Renin 6. Okay. Ooh, Sword of the Animus. Oh, nice! I don't have a foil Mana Whiff Sliver. That is awesome. I didn't realize they were going to have a foil in there for that. That's awesome. Great. Cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, I love slivers. I know people hate them, but I, I love them. Whenever I play Commander, I hardly ever win with them. Proud lore. Okay. Memory erosion. Which bane orb? Okay. It's going pretty good. I'm almost halfway through and have plenty of time. I'll skip and big go again. To your reserves. Banding. That, I think that's the first card I ever pulled with banding. Oh, well, we got a Nissa versus Indicar. That's five bucks. Great duplication. Yay. Got a hundred and seventy some apostle foils, and you're getting duplicates in a pack. Hmm. A box, I should say. Hmm. Thought Vessel. That's a good one. I needed one of those. Vishano Sandstalker. Okay. Beacon of Immortality. And Sin Triplets. Nice. I was hoping to get one of these, too. Cool. Uh, Sin Triplets. Uh, cost five. Two generic, a white, blue, and a black. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent this turn. That player can't play spells or activated abilities and plays with his or her hand revealed. You, may, you can play cards from that player's hand this turn. Nice. Yeah, had to buy this uh this box off of eBay. Well, but I did get a good price on it. I paid a uh, hundred and forty for it. So okay, that seems to be a good card. Ooh, swords of plowshare.
Okay, it's a token generator. Another, a really, a really, uh, I can't believe it. Uh, that is annoying that I'm getting duplicate foils in this. Oh, a fiend hunter. Hmm. This member, that's a good one. Milliken. Hmm. Ramstone Mage. Living Death. Glittering Wish. This does nothing for me in Commander. Oh well. It's still a nice card. Trinket mage, negate. Mm. Ooh, far seek. Hmm. Ooh, Timir colors. Timur colors. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, that seems to be a good one. <gasps> oh, yeah! Mana Crypt! Awesome! Well, that just paid for this box. This is awesome. Wow. This is definitely not uh, like someone repacked this box or anything. That is just awesome. Cost zero. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose a flip, Mana Crypt deals three damage to you. Add two colorless to your mana pool. Wow. Lich's Mirror. Nice. Oh, wow. That is awesome. I am so happy now. I am so happy. Got the most valuable card in the whole set. That is so cool. Moon Glove Extract. Okay. Um, conspiracy card. Uh, is that a rare? That's a rare. I think it's from a commander set. Another duplicate, but that one at least is worth something. I swear, it's like maybe there isn't 170 and it's just 20 different foils? I don't know. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely an awesome box. Much better than that first one. Ooh! Thoughtcast. I need one of those. Eater of Days. Uh, Jin of Wishes. That's an Edelon of Rhetoric. Yeah. That. Uh, not a real good foil. But hey. It's been pretty fun so far. Lightning Bolt. 
Croesus charm. Croesus's charm. Okay. Arson of Kozilek. Athreos, God of the Passage. Nice. That's about five bucks right now. Get Rog Monster, ten bucks. Wow, this pack's pretty valuable. Uh, cost five, three generic, black and a green. Death Touch at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice Grit Rock Monster unless you sacrifice a land. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card and a Changeling Hero Foil. This has been a pretty nice box, I must say. Oh, let's try to not see that card. Another treasure. Hmm. Still, there's a couple more I would love to get in this. Oh, wow. Perforos. I just bought one of these. Uh, haven't gotten it, though. It's still on its way. That's a $15 card right now. I paid $12 for that one. Might just have to set it up for trade, though. Uh, God of the Forge. Cost 4, 3 generic and red. As long as your devotion to red is less than 5, Perforos is in creature. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals 2 damage to each opponent. Pay 3 to generic and red. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. Call against command. Oh, one second, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My cat was getting to something it shouldn't have been getting. Oh, look. A third fury. Wow. Three of those in one box. Well, let's go with Culligan's Command. Cost three. Generic. Black and red. Return. Choose two. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target player discards a card. Destroy target artifact. Culligan's Command deals two damage to target creature or player. All right. Got five packs left. Or he got the real valuable card out of it. But hey, maybe we might get a duplicate of Mana Vault. Was that is it Mana Vault? I'm sorry. Mana Crypt. I'm sorry about that. Alright. On bright wings and an oh, untapped card. Lotus Petal, ten bucks. Right there. Cost zero. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. Yay. Steam Flogger Boss. Okay, that's that's kind of weird because I believe that's an unset symbol there, but it's black bordered. Oh yeah, that's right. That yeah, this is an uncard, but this was the one card in the whole set that was actually legal because it's a reprint. Or something like that. I am not sure, but it's still kind of weird. And we got a knowledge pool. Um not exactly sure what the value is on knowledge pool, but I'll read it. When knowledge pool enters the battlefield, each player exiles the top three cards of his or her library. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, the player exiles it. If the player does, he or she may cast another non-land card exiled with knowledge pool without paying that card's mana cost. Okay. Now it's like, hopefully I can get the Rhystic Study. I would love to get in one of those two out of this. And a and a demonic tutor too. A pile of cards is tipping over again. There we go. 
Okay. This. Contagion Clasp. Spawning Grounds. Okay. Edelin of Rhetoric. Yay. Alright. Arboril. Impending disaster. Ooh. During your upkeep, if there are seven or more lands in place, sacrifice impending disaster and destroy all lands. That probably is a valuable card there. Gideon Jura. He's 50 cents. Flamekin Harbinger for our foil. All right, two packs left. We got three Planeswalkers. Dreddy. And... Uh, Nissa and a Gideon. Okay. Hmm. I think that's a five dollar card. Mimic that. Okay. Greater Moss Dog. Hmm. Dredge. That's the first Greater Moss Dog I've pulled out of these. Alright. Yeah. No Mother of Runes. No Demonic Tutor. Well, Crufix, God of Horizons, Revel in Riches, and Witchbane Orb. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will go over the rares or valuable cards here that I have here real quick. We got quite a few with Revel in Riches, got Crufix, Mimic Vac. Bill's Portal, Gideon Jura, uh, Pinning Disaster, Steam Flogger, Lotus Petal, Culligan's Command, Perforos, Gitrog Monster, Athreos, that's three gods. I'm going to put all the mythics in a single pile here. Uh, so we got the Eater of Days, Surin. Nemesis, Mana Crypt, Guided Passage, Torin Mauler, Beacon of Immortality, Thought Vessel, Nissa, Voices Indicar, Memory Erosion, Sword of the Animus, Cargon Dragon Lord, Mythic, Star of Extinction, Mythic, Duretti, Mythic, Chanted Evening, Energy Field, Sudden Demise, Questing. Feldegriff, Deep Glow Skate, Animor Soul of Elements, Ancient Ziggurat, Exporate, On Sanctuary, Corsair Crufix, Chromatic Star, Serendip Ifrit, and Modder's Cause. Well, right here is like Right there was just like super money there. I'm guessing the value of this here is like a, about $200. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, I wish you guys good luck in your polls. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.